Story recapped here. Today, I'm going to explain a horror and sci-fi film called The Passenger. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. While hiking in the woods, a man realizes he's lost and uses his phone as a compass. However, it malfunctions and sparks, causing him to throw it away. His companion, a lady, picks it up and returns it to him. But as they rest, a scary looking woman suddenly chases them. Despite the woman's appearance, the man decides to help her, only to be attacked and decapitated. Meanwhile, a chauffeur, Blasco, prepares for his journey and takes his van, picking up a woman named Mariella. Blasco is a little talkative, so Mariella puts on her earphones and ignores the man. Once they reach Cadalso Street, Blasco stops the van to pick up two more passengers, Lydia and her daughter Marta. Blasco takes Lydia's suitcase to the vehicle and can't help but admire Marta. Of course, Lydia makes sure they won't be having problems because of her daughter. The three ladies are headed to the village, and after some introductions, Lydia gets in the van. Marta refuses to sit in the back because she gets carsick starting an argument with Lydia. Blasco then intervenes and says he wants to quickly get to their destination, Valgard, leaving them with no choice but to hop in the vehicle. As they travel, Blasco asks Marta for a cigarette, only to be disappointed when the girl refuses to let him smoke. After that, he asks the girl why she keeps looking at his face, explaining he injured his eye during his first bullfight. Marta says Blasco is lying about his eye and adds she doesn't think he injured it from bullfighting, showing the man her big scar. Blasco guesses that Marta got her scar when she tried to smoke for the first time, saying her lighter probably exploded in her face, which is why she hates smoking. Blasco also laughs at the thought, but Lydia stops him and says it's not funny. Annoyed that there's a glass partition in the van, Lydia asks Marta to fasten her seatbelt while Mariella expresses her irritation too. So Blasco explains he installed that glass when he had his pest control company to stop the stench of chemicals. Lydia plans to file a complaint on Blasco's site, but Mariella advises her to just give him a bad review. Mariella says Blasco will lose customers that way, adding that Lydia should include the details of what happened. In front, Blasco and Marta talk about music and surprisingly enjoy their conversation. Moments later, Blasco irritates Lydia and Mariella again when he makes a comment about women cheating on their husbands after a car overtakes his van. The women find him rude, and the topic of feminism is suddenly brought up. He says all feminists want revenge, but Mariella angrily replies that's not the case, and tells him to see how things will be in the legislative framework in a few years. As night falls, Lydia notices that they're not on the national road, but Blasco explains they're taking the most direct route. Despite the detour, Lydia says she knows that road very well, and when Blasco asks if she's from Valgard, the woman reveals her ex-husband lives there. Because of that, Blasco realizes that Marta is going to see her father. Speaking with resentment, Marta shares Lydia wants her to live with her father. She also adds that Lydia is tired of her, but Lydia tells her to stop talking nonsense and asks her to refrain from biting her nails. Feeling bad? Blasco assures Marta that Lydia loves her, causing Mariella to close the curtain. At the same time, Marta makes it clear she's already accepted that her parents don't care about her. At that moment, Blasco suddenly stops the van when he sees something on the road and gets out of the vehicle. Blasco finds pieces of broken glass on the ground and smells something bad, following the trail that leads to the side of the road. There, Blasco discovers a strange object, wondering if it's a crashed meteosat. Marta and Lydia get out of the van too, to see what's happening, but they don't approach Blasco. Seconds later, Marta notices something moving by the grass as Blasco touches the strange object. Then, the unknown mass comes in contact with Marta when she tries to poke it, worrying Lydia that she might be now infected with something. Sadly, Marta refuses to show Lydia her finger and just gets in the van. On the side of the road, Blasco decides not to mess with a strange object in case it belongs to the government and gets in the vehicle too, to leave. The four continue their journey, unaware that the area is littered with the unknown mass that Marta saw. Blasco is a little agitated, saying there have always been sightings in that place. In the back, Lydia politely asks Mariella to fix her wig. She also wants to know how serious Mariella's condition is. So the woman replies she can't be cured anymore and asks her not to tell anyone. Blasco still talks about the strange object, believing it either crashed or was brought down. As Blasco chats with Marta, he tells the girl not to bite her nail since she's bleeding. 
Sure enough, Marta sees blood on her finger caused by the unknown mass. At the same time, Lydia notices their light flickering. The radio suddenly malfunctions too, but Blasco only thinks his van needs some fixing. Mariella reveals to Lydia that she's taken care of many sick people like her, and some of them eventually died. When Lydia asks if she's a nurse, Mariella says she likes calling herself a carer. She then takes her medication and tells Lydia she just wants to get to Valgar to see her father, who left when she was little. After listening to Mariella's story, Lydia shares that Marta was five years old when she got into a car accident with her father, who was intoxicated while driving. Luckily, Marta survived despite the burns. When the radio works again, Blasco talks to Marta about music once more. But seconds later, the radio malfunctions for the second time. Blasco notices that Marta is staring at her glowing finger, and her eyes are glazed. A worried Lydia asks her daughter what's wrong, and as Blasco becomes distracted, he doesn't notice the woman on the road and hits her. Blasco continues to drive, and Marta finally returns to normal. Mariella forces Blasco to turn around, immediately getting out of the vehicle to help the unconscious woman on the ground. Lydia tries calling for help, but her phone malfunctions. The same thing happens to Blasco's phone when he attempts to make a call, and the man drops it when it burns his hand. They don't notice the woman open and close her eyes, so Mariella just asks Blasco to fetch some bandages. Blasco returns to the van, where Marta examines the organism that's coming out of the wound on her finger. Once Blasco gives Mariella the first aid kit, she quickly tends to the stranger. Mariella then asks Lydia and Blasco to help her carry the woman to the van, and Blasco decides to take the injured lady to the hospital. In the back, Mariella struggles to listen to what the woman is trying to say. Unfortunately, the woman suddenly attacks her, but Lydia and Blasco are too busy arguing about what they should do to notice what's happening. The woman gets on top of Mariella and inserts her long tongue inside the nurse's ear, while in front, Marta turns up the volume of the radio to ignore her mother. Soon, the extraterrestrial parasite inside the woman that possibly came from the strange object transfers to Mariella, whose appearance changes before attacking Lydia. While Blasco reveals to Marta that he injured his eye from a slingshot, Lydia defends herself from Mariella as she tears the dead woman's saggy skin and throws it into the partition. Stopping the van, Blasco sees what's happening in the back, and all Marta can do is beg him to help her mother. The two immediately get out of the van, but Marta isn't strong enough to pull Lydia away from Mariella. Sad to say, Marta collapses in pain as the organism in her finger starts to come out again. Eventually, Mariella overpowers Lydia and attempts to make her the new host of the parasite inside her. Then, Blasco opens the doors and repeatedly hits Mariella with his guitar, carrying Lydia out of the van and instructing her to run to Marta. Afterward, Blasco closes the doors and stays with Lydia and Marta on the side of the road. However, they are forced to hide in the woods when Mariella escapes. As they walk, Blasco suggests they split up before giving Lydia a pocket knife. Blasco climbs a tree while Lydia and Marta hide behind a rock, where the girl begs her mother to get the organism off her finger. Lydia uses the knife to remove the organism, making Marta cry in pain. So Lydia quickly covers her mouth, but Mariella's already heard the girl. At the same time, Blasco falls from the tree. Mariella finds Lydia and Marta's hiding spot, but the two are already gone. The organism from Marta's finger attaches to Mariella's hand, and soon, she screams. Upon hearing Mariella, Lydia realizes she has to lead the infected woman away from her daughter. She instructs Marta to find a road and seek help while she distracts Mariella, but the girl refuses. Marta apologizes to Lydia for what she said earlier, hugging her mother and making her promise she'll make it out. With their time running out, Lydia forces Marta to flee and leaves with a rock to look for Mariella. Moments later, Marta sees Blasco and goes with him to the van. Sadly, Mariella attacks Lydia, and her scream is heard by Marta and Blasco. At first, Marta refuses to leave her mother as Blasco gets in the van, but she changes her mind and joins the driver inside the vehicle when she sees a figure coming out of the woods. Unfortunately, Lydia is now the new host of the extraterrestrial parasite. As Blasco drives, it dawns on Marta that they're dealing with a parasite. Because of that, Blasco becomes certain that the strange object he saw was a UFO. He then comforts Marta and puts some music on since the girl lost her phone, unaware that the vehicle's gas is leaking. When they pass a small village, they still can't get help because the place is empty. So Blasco decides to look for a gas station to refill the tank. 
and that's where he discovers the leak. Blasco chooses to patch it up later and waits for the gas station attendant, Maximo. But he knows it'll take the guy some time to return since people rarely go there. With nothing else to do, Blasco patches up the leak with tape and tells Marta he'll head to the village to find gas. He instructs Marta to lock all the doors and tell Maximo what's going on once he comes back. Marta then turns off the light as Blasco leaves, hoping he'll return safely. It isn't long before Blasco finds a car and siphons its fuel. Meanwhile, an infected Lydia finds the van, but Maximo returns and calls her attention. This gives Marta a chance to quietly get out of the vehicle and hide under it, witnessing her mother attack and decapitate the gas station attendant. In the village, Blasco picks up a cat and sees it has blood on its fur. Curious, Blasco follows the cat as it enters a house through a small window, but he doesn't spot the decapitated man inside. He then gets distracted when his gas container overflows with fuel, quickly taking it to go back to the gas station. He doesn't know that Lydia is there and only finds Marta hiding under the vehicle, helping her up and asking what's wrong. Frightened, Marta informs Blasco that Lydia is around. So, upon refilling the tank, Blasco immediately drives away from that place with Marta. After that, it starts raining hard, but what they need to worry about is the banging on the roof. Realizing Lydia is on top of the van, Blasco and Marta hold the roof for support. Blasco also hits the brakes to get rid of Lydia, and repeatedly runs her over before driving off. But the infected woman simply gets up as if nothing happened. On the road, Blasco plays some music to distract Marta and says they should have a safe word in case they split up. Unfortunately, Blasco feels dizzy and is forced to stop the vehicle before passing out. As if that isn't scary enough, Marta sees that her mother is already in the back of the van, but the woman doesn't attack them and instead leans on the partition, not doing anything else as her eyes become glazed. Quietly, Marta goes to the back and crawls to get a bottle of water for Blasco. However, Blasco momentarily regains consciousness and hits the horn, causing Lydia to bang her head on the glass partition. The screws fall off, but Lydia soon stops when Blasco leans back. Then, Lydia inserts her long tongue into a small compartment to reach Blasco and strangles him with it. Marta rushes to help the driver and burns Lydia's tongue with a car cigarette lighter. Marta then lets Blasco drink, but Lydia breaks the window and attempts to grab her daughter. Luckily, Blasco manages to drive away, only to be surprised when Lydia easily catches up to them. Lydia breaks the glass partition and takes Marta to the back of the vehicle, leaving Blasco with no choice but to drive faster and crash into a tree. Moments later, an injured Blasco wakes up and gets out of the flip van to look for Marta. It isn't long before he finds the girl and takes her outside, but as they leave, Lydia uses her tongue to grab her daughter. Lydia is about to infect Marta when Blasco distracts her, daring the woman to come after him. Using his bullfighting sword and shirt, Blasco leads Lydia away from Marta. Sad to say, Lydia eventually subdues Blasco and inserts her tongue into his mouth to end his life. But Marta takes the sword and stabs her in the back of the head. Marta then helps Blasco up and leaves with him. And that's when the parasite comes out of Lydia's body. When the two see it, Blasco gets the can of pesticide that Marta picked up and takes out his lighter to set it on fire. Afterward, the radio suddenly turns on, so Blasco and Marta dance to the music. The next day, Blasco and Marta reach a deserted bar. Marta goes to the restroom as Blasco pours himself a drink and doesn't notice the decapitated bartender. In the restroom, a sticky substance, which is actually saliva, drops onto Marta's finger. Still not realizing they're in danger, Blasco turns on the radio and tries to light his cigarette, only to discover they're not alone. Looking to the side, Blasco sees three infected women and a girl. An infected Marta comes out of the restroom too, but Blasco doesn't flee and accepts he's doomed. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.